Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone? The Ice Wizard is a legendary card that constantly slows your enemy's move speed and attack speed by 35% when affected by his slow attack. Just to give you guys a sense of that, a giant without an Ice Wizard will wreck your Prince's Tower. But with an Ice Wizard protecting it, that giant's only gonna get 4 hits. That's reducing a lot of damage. The Ice Wizard has a decent amount of health. He's plump enough that he can survive a fireball, but he will die to lightning instantly and poison if he's exposed to the full 8 second duration of that poison effect. He has a splash attack, so he will be able to slow down and damage a cluster of units that are clumped up really closely. Ever since the damage buff to the Ice Wizard, he can now defend skeletons and bats with one hit. This is massive and brought him back into the meta. Think Graveyard. The Ice Wizard will be able to pick off the skeletons in just one hit. This is a huge improvement that made the Ice Wizard viable in today's meta. Even Minion Horde isn't really scary because of his ability to splash a small cluster of units. His role is defensive support. He's not an offensive damager. He's got a slower attack speed and really low base damage. His primary role is to defend and slow all attackers. Once you've used him to defend, you can potentially counter push since he does slow their defenders by 35%, letting your counter push to go nuts on a push. Or you could simply just let him cross the bridge alone. He does only cost three elixir after all. He's incredibly useful in top decks like Royal Giants just because of his ability to slow down all of their defenses, allowing your Royal Giant to survive longer and get more shots in. It's really easy to stop an Ice Wizard. Ice beats Ice. Ice Spirits can absorb one hit and jump onto the Ice Wizard, damaging and freezing him on his tracks. Even a single Archer will stop the Ice Wizard. He is not an offensive unit. If you have an Ice Wizard to stop an Ice Spirit, do it. Because if you don't, he somehow will deal 300 damage to your tower. 300 may not sound like a lot but put it this way that is lightning damage on your king tower for the price of three elixir oh tornado paired with the ice wizard is amazing you slow them all the way from the bridge to your tower and all the way back the tornado also groups all the units together so everything is slowed down by 35 percent Minion Horde gets wrecked by an Ice Wizard. If your opponent has something distracting your Ice Wizard, Tornado is the best card to pair with an Ice Wizard. Together, they are an unstoppable force. One of the tricks to stopping splashes from destroying swarm cards like Minion Horde is to prediction minor block the Ice Wizard to redirect the splash. If you've got Tornado, this won't matter. You'll be able to pull the minor and Minion Horde, take him out and get a nice positive elixir trade. Tornado is the number one card to synergize with Ice Wizard. Lightning is one of the Ice Wizard counters. It is three for six, but if you can target three units, including the tower, then you will have a positive elixir trade. If you're playing the Ice Wizard as defense, try to separate the units so your opponent can't maximize their lane. This is especially true if you need an Inferno Dragon or Electro Dragon to take out a massive push. The Ice Wizard can defend against almost all cards one on one with the help of the tower. His constant slow and splash helps defend against single units and swarms. Although without the help of the tower, he will be overwhelmed by just about anything. He simply doesn't have the damage output. He's a frosty wimp. You ever see an Ice Wizard battle in the center of the arena without any help? You could definitely take a quick nap before it's all over. The top 3 decks currently running an Ice Wizard is Ice Bow Control, Splash Yard with Barbarian Barrel, and Royal Giant Baby Dragon Lightning. What do they all have in common though? They all have Tornado. Coincidence? I think not. Having Tornado works very well with the Ice Wizard. With the power of Tornado and Ice Wizard, you can stop all Swarmies. They just get crushed. No chance. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Large slow enemies become extra slow. He is the textbook definition of defense. Tornado is common with any splasher and also gives one of the most valuable moves, the Rocket Nado. Yes, in that order. If your opponent lets loose on one lane, you can cast Rocket, then Tornado everything together to demolish everything. It is 9 elixir, but if you can get value if your opponent has been building a really big push from behind the King Tower, then that will be really good value. This is especially huge power move in 2-2 when you can team wipe a 20 elixir push off the map. Pairing the Ice Wizard with Zap is also another good synergy, especially having it on the counter attack. If someone drops a swarm of minions or gangs, the swarmies, they instantly melt. Ice Spirit with the Ice Wizard will also stop swarms, but remember to plant the Ice Spirit further away so it has time to attack. Otherwise, the swarms will destroy the Ice Spirit before it even has a chance to load. 
the Ice Wizard against the Golem Night Witch archetype is really annoying for them because the Ice Wizard always splashes onto the bats from the Night Witch and also slows the Golem down. He's already the slowest unit in the game. This gives him plenty of time to take care of the Golem. Timing the Tornado is key to avoiding an extra Golem Punch or its death damage on your tower. This ultimate defense is really effective in any situation, even with the classic giant witch push. Easy peasy, orange squeezy. The ice wizard alone can stop the balloon from reaching the tower, but the tower will still suffer from the death bomb damage. It really depends on your archetype whether or not you can afford that damage. One interaction that's kind of interesting and also scary to witness is that he can just stop the battle ram from charging onto the tower. Alone, he won't be able to fully stop a ram, but knowing that you can stop the ram's charge is pretty handy knowledge for larger interactions. In fact, it might even be beneficial to put him in front of the tower so that he'll tank for the barbarians. He does only cost 3 elixir. The Ice Wizard is extremely fragile to charging and dashing units. He's just not strong without a Prince's Tower or units in front of him to support. He is a support unit. The Princess, the Mega Knight, the Bandits charge, jump, dash, they are all way too fast for him to initiate his first attack in order to slow them down. If you see any of these units, always back your Ice Wizard up with the tank or absorb the first charge with cheap cycle cards like Skeletons. The Skeletons make a world of a difference. The Prince's attack is slowed by 35%. He takes forever to pick off of each Skeleton. Think about it like this, that's 200 damage per second from just the Skeletons. Just like Earthquake, he does slow production speed and attack speed of spawners and siege buildings by 35%. The ultimate defense card. Although, this is good to keep in mind that Earthquake and the Ice Wizard slows do not stack. He may not do much damage on his own, but he allows your units and your towers to get more shots while they're slowed down. Another thing that's good to note is that he does have 700 health after all, so if you need to stop a Lava Hound from dealing too much damage once the pups all spawn, he will tank that. He is only 3 elixir, it's good to sacrifice him for that 3 elixir to avoid 500 pup damage to your princess tower. He is one of the best 3 elixir cards in the game, and ever since that 5% damage buff, he is a very reliable card to defend against all ground and all air. With Tornado and a few other cards, once you've learned the interactions of what he can and can't stop, this is one of the best legendaries in the game to own. He's a little hard to pick up at first, but once you kind of master it, he is so worth it. Hope these tips can help, maybe we'll go into a more practical situation where we'll jump into the game right now. To show you guys the magic of the Ice Wizard. Ice Wizard. Tornado. Why does the Ice Wizard work really well? Why has he been one of the most versatile legendaries in the game? Because he can defend against everything. Ground, air, swarm, tanks, everything. What pairs really well with the Ice Wizard? Really strong defensive control decks. Control in the sense that you have super hyper defensive cards with Tornado that, that are synergized really well with the Tornado. The Ice Wizard can splash, the Electro Dragon's defensive. Let's try it out in one ladder match, where this is kind of like a half bait, half minor poison deck. It's not double elixir, but when it is double elixir, you go Skeleton Barrel, Bats, and then you go Miner. But for now, I'm just gonna rush in with Skeleton Barrel tanking for my Miner. Now, I might have put the Miner a little bit too high, but I, I didn't know he was gonna go for the Giant Skeleton. And, uh... It's a bit aggressive on the minion horde. The skeletons deal a lot of damage, almost a thousand damage. I had get to poison down. I could use Valkyrie, but with the power of the Ice Wizard. I'm actually gonna put the Ice Wizard in the other lane. Just um because he's gonna walk into the path of the giant skeleton once he dies with the bomb. Look at that, evades the balloon bomb, evades the giant skeleton bomb. Now he counterattacks. He's so threatening that you have to counter the ice wizard. With an Inferno Tower. <laughs> With the Inferno Tower up, we're going to put the Valkyrie in the back. Wait for the double elixir. In the meantime, use our limited emotes. All right, Valkyrie goes in the back. I could cycle to the Skeleton Barrel right at the bridge, but uh, not yet. All right, now is the time to strike. I'm going to put it down a little bit lower because I know he's got the minion hordes going on. Oh, Giant Skeleton predicted. Shame. Still alive though, dealing a lot of damage. Explodes in the- oh wow, he had to arrows that. Alright, he doesn't have arrows for my bats. We're, we're so good. Use this Ice Wizard on that. Now if he does have the balloon again, I have the Electro Dragon. Bomb tower. This is how we win. If he rockets my Valkyrie again- no, nah. nah. You know what, he's not gonna expect- he's not gonna expect the Miner on the Bomb Tower. Oh. 5,000 IQ. Skeleton's still alive. Tanking for everything, in fact. Bomb tower is down. Skeleton's alive. The power of the Ice Wizard. Now, 
I don't want that death damage. I could let the ice wizard stop it, but I, I am so good on. Oh my good, I'm not. I'm. I am not that good. Oh my goodness, ice wizard, ice wizard stops the balloon completely. Let's go in for the. Oh my goodness, he puts the giant skeleton in the same spot. I could poison it right now, but I'm gonna be a bit careful. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's nice. Two hits. He'll have arrows for my bats. Double stack the Electro Dragons. Oh! Tornado! Ice Wizard? That's beautiful! Tornado Ice Wizard. Tornado Ice Wizard. Tornado. Oh, you gotta have to cut that out. Tornado and Ice Wizard work really well because use the tornado to activate the King Tower for the Hog Rider, activate the King Tower with the Goblin Barrel. Ice Wizard clumps everything up. Oh my goodness. Nothing gets through. Nothing gets through. Let's try a challenge instead so that everything's at tournament standard. I can show you the power of the defensive Ice Wizard. We're gonna start off Skeleton Barrel to tank for the Miner. Separate the Miner so that it's in the back so that they can't deal with both in the front. Oh. Oh, Ice Wizard. I will use the Ice Wizard to stop that Electro Dragon, just because I want to flex on the E-Wiz, or the Electro Wizard, or so I can flex on the Ice Wizard. I'm gonna have him tank. Oh, yes, yes. Let's put the bats a little bit in the back, and then I'm gonna have the Skeleton Barrel go in. Ice Wizard's still alive. Ice Wizard slowing down the tower. Oh my goodness. Put down another Ice Wizard for the DPS. Valkyrie's still alive, tanking everything. The Ice Wizard's slowly chipping away. <laughs> Flex it! Flex the limited emotes! Only 70,000 emotes were given out, I think. Over 70, 80 tournaments. With 80 tournaments, there's at least 70,000 people out there that got the emotes that didn't have duplicate accounts. I'm gonna start off with a skeleton barrel in the back. Let's see what he does. I could have put it in the middle, but whatevs. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. Ooh, poison that, poison that wizard, poison it, get him. He's gonna stay inside the poison and it's gonna completely, ooh, yes. I haven't even rotated to my ice wizard yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, ice wizard one shots the skeletons and then it's gonna take out the, oh my goodness, I need to tank that, I need to tank that. That's beautiful, ice wizards on. I don't know if the Ice Wizard is going to stop all of that, so we're we're going to go for the Valkyrie on top. Oh my goodness, that's a very aggressive attack. Alright, well, let's stop the Wizard. Wait for the Wizard to cross, put him down, he's going to defend against that, then we counterattack. It's not double elixir, so we don't put down our bats. Put down the Skeleton Barrel, put down the Miner, the Skeleton Barrel is going to tank, the Ice Wizard is going to slow. Oh! Oh, the synergies! The skeleton barrel popped. Everything's getting one-shotted by the wizard. Oh my goodness. I freaking love this. Okay, well, that baby dragon's gonna wreck my bats right now. So we're gonna put down the Valkyrie. Did you guys see how the baby dragon hesitated? AI, how does it work? Valkyrie still... T oh my goodness. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ice wizard in the other lane to pull the giant skeleton. And then we need to tank. We need to tank right now. That is so much damage. Both towers hitting the giant skeleton. That is so juicy. Y'all sees that? Ice wizard tank pulled the giant skeleton to both lanes. We're so good. We got the ice wizard. Separate it so that nothing gets tornadoed. Or I mean lightning. Here we go. Oh dear. You know what? I'm just going to bypass that giant skeleton. We go in for that and maybe even poison the wizard. That ice wizard has it. It's nothing. That... That giant skeleton is not getting through with the power of the ice wizard. Put that down there. Oh my goodness. Electro dragon just splashy splashied onto everything. Again, he's doing the splashy splashies. All right. Electro dragon, miner, everything. This is beautiful. And that's good game with the poison. Cha 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 cha. There are so many different decks that work with the Ice Wizard. Basically, the common theme is that there's tornado in there. The synergies of this is beautiful. Hope you guys found this video useful with the tips in the beginning and as well as the gameplay. I seem to get a lot of giant skeletons in there, but 
That's the thing. Giant skeletons, they will never get through with Ice Wizard. There's just so many different ways you can counter everything with Ice Wizard, with Tornado. Everything gets stopped completely. And that's why he works so well in so many decks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality OJ.